Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In previous video, we have seen definition of gradient of a scalar point function. In this video, I will give an important application of gradient, which is evaluate directional derivative of a scalar point function. See, look at the statement of the given problem. Find the directional derivative. Find the directional derivative of phi is equal to x square minus y square plus 4z square. Clearly, it represents a scalar point function. At the point 1, 2, minus 1. Okay, we have to find out the directional derivative of this scalar point function phi at a particular point 1, 2, minus 1 in the direction of a vector 2i bar plus j bar minus k bar. The directional derivative of a scalar function is e bar dot e bar dot this is dot product grad phi in symbolic form it becomes e bar dot del phi clearly we know that del phi is the gradient of the given scalar function phi so first of all we should find out the gradient of the given function phi by using the definition after that we have to find out e bar what is e bar where e bar is the unit vector unit vector along the direction of given vector a bar small a bar otherwise you can represent it with capital a bar no problem so this is the given vector a bar so we have to find out the unit vector of this vector okay what is the formula for unit vector e bar is equal to a bar by its length by using this formula we can easily find out unit vector along the given vector a bar okay after getting e bar and uh, del phi you can take the dot product of both parts e bar dot grad phi which gives the directional derivative of the given scalar point function okay see the solution given that first write the given scalar point function which is x square minus y square plus 4z square by the definition of gradient by definition of gradient we have grad phi is equal to i bar into dou phi by dou x plus j bar into dou phi by dou y plus k bar into dou phi by dou z so i bar into what is dou phi by dou x partial differentiation of this phi with respect to x only whenever we are taking partial derivative with respect to x except x remaining are all constants so their derivatives with respect to x is zeros okay so differentiation of x square with respect to x is just 2x remaining terms are constants because they are not containing x plus j bar into dou phi by dou y in this case, we are taking the partial derivative of y with respect to y. So, only y is the variable except y remaining are all constants. So, partial derivative of y with respect to y is only minus 2y. Just you write ordinary derivative of y square only which is 2y. Since there is negative sign, I am writing negative here. Plus k bar into dou phi by dou z. In this case, only z is the variable. Remaining are all constants particularly x and y becomes constants whenever we are taking partial derivative with respect to z okay so here we have to take partial derivative of 4z square with respect to z only it would be 4 into 2z so 8z since we have to find out the directional derivative at this particular point you can replace this particular point in this gradient it is not necessary to replace this point at the climax step okay so at the given point p 1 2 minus 1 what is grad phi so in this gradient whenever we have x variable replace it by 1 whenever we have y replace it by 2 and z is replaced by minus 1 so 2 times of 1 2 2 into i bar 2 into i bar and y value is 2 so 2 times of 2 is 4 already minus sign is there so you will get minus 4 j bar and 8 times of minus 1 because z is minus 1 so you will get minus 8 k bar so we are observing that 
gradient phi nothing but del phi at the point p 1 2 minus 1 is 2i bar minus 4j bar minus 8k bar highlight with a box next in the next part we have to find out the unit vector e bar along the given direction a bar c now given vector direction is a bar is equal to 2i bar plus j bar minus k bar so write the unit vector of this vector which is a bar by its length its length or magnitude so 2i bar plus j bar minus k bar by how can we find out magnitude of a vector function root over sum of squares of components so 2 square plus coefficient of j bar is 1 1 square plus coefficient of k bar whole square which is minus 1 whole square anyway it would be 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 so 1 by root 6 into 2i bar plus j bar minus k bar in this way we can easily find out the unit vector e bar along the given direction a bar finally required directional derivative required directional derivative of phi is equal to e bar dot del phi at the given point p say what is e bar 1 by root 6 into 2i bar plus j bar minus k bar dot write the gradient phi at the given point which is 2i bar see here minus 4j bar minus 8k bar so how can we find out the dot product of two vector point functions just multiply the corresponding components and add them so already 1 by root 6 is there in the product whole into multiply the corresponding components so you have to multiply coefficient of i bar here and coefficient of i bar here so 2 times of 2 is 4 because i bar dot i bar is 1 okay dot product of same unit vector is 1 and dot product of different vector is 0 so i bar dot j bar and i bar dot k bar these are all zeros j bar dot k bar is 0 that's why if we multiply 2i bar dot 4j bar dot maybe 2 4 are 8 but i bar dot j bar is 0 so it is not necessary to multiply the remaining terms just multiply the corresponding components only it's enough okay coefficient of j bar is 1 1 into minus 4 minus 4 and k bar coefficient is minus 1 and here k bar coefficient is minus 8 minus 1 into minus 8 plus 8 so anyway 4 and minus 4 getting cancelled 8 by root 6 is the required directional derivative of the given scalar point function in this way we can easily find out the directional derivative of the given scalar point function using the definition of gradient Okay, thank you very much. In the next video, I will give some more examples on directional derivatives. Thank you.